first thing you want to decide for yourself is do I want a brilliant cut diamond or a step cut diamond? Which shape of diamond is best? Now there's really no such thing as best, but there are a lot of different shapes of diamonds and they have different attributes. So it's important to know uh, which way you're choosing and how that affects the way your ring will look when it's, when it's done. So there are two categories of diamond cuts, brilliant cut diamonds and step cut diamonds. Brilliant cut diamonds include round, princess, cushion, and radiant, among others. Step cut diamonds include emerald cut and asher cut, among others. The difference is, in a brilliant cut diamond, facets are pointing kind of every which way, so you get light pointing in every direction, and that brilliant look that you're used to seeing in a round diamond. In step cut diamonds, like an emerald cut, all of the facets are parallel to each other, so you don't get light going every which way. You get light very specifically directed in certain directions, which can give it a more glassy and uniform appearance uh, because the facets themselves are larger. A lot of old Hollywood and vintage deco kind of rings use step cut diamonds, emeralds and ashers, uh, but not all. A cushion is very popular in, in antique looking rings. Uh, gemologically speaking, a round brilliant cut is the most light efficient cut of diamond. In other words, all else being equal, a round diamond will return more light and shine more brightly than any other shape. Unfortunately, a round is also the most expensive cut of diamond there is in the market, so you have to balance that one against the other a little bit. Uh, uh, alternatives to the round that are popular today include cushion cut, pear shape, and oval, which is extremely popular right now. Uh, in the step cut diamonds, the two main ones are emerald cut and asher cut. An emerald is a rectangle and an asher is a square. You can't have any curved surfaces in a, in a step cut diamond because again, all of the facets are parallel, so that prohibits curves. So I encourage you to look at some of the images of these different stones and ask yourself, which of these expresses my personality well?